Hello again, MDTV. Um, had a couple of ladies in the shop yesterday and they actually bought from us a, a Pride Apex light scooter. Um, and they were asking, is there anywhere on the internet where you can actually see a scooter being you know, taken apart and put back together again? Also with some helpful tips of you know, how you would place it in the car. So that's what I'm going to do for you this morning. There probably is, but we're going to do it anyway because I promised the ladies that I would. Right, so Pride Apex, you fold the seat, it just literally lifts straight off. What I want you to remember is when you're lifting things off a scooter, if we just pretend that this screen is the back of your car, always try and put the things not in a, in a position where they're safe and nobody's going to fall over, especially you, because if you're actually putting them in the car and you step backwards, that's so easy to do. So, that's what you see, just literally straight off. On some other scooters, you might have to lift the handle underneath the seat. On this particular one, your battery, yet again, just lift straight out. Some other scooters, there might be a little catch or a little locking device, you know, just to hold the battery down. On these there isn't. So you lift your battery out, yet again putting it somewhere where you're not going to reverse over it and fall over. Basket, on these they just lift straight off. I'm not going to go to the location thing again. Then what you need to do is this bit falls down, but what we're going to do, because you want to do this dial here to let it go down, is put it so it's about level thereabouts with the beam at the back, your seat locator. There is a reason for that. There's a little switch here just to lift the battery, sorry, to lift the front of the, the scooter off, and it just comes off these two hooks on the bar. We need this bit, which is the last bit I've taken apart, in the car first. So I'm going to come round here, I've lifted this up, and I've popped it in the car. Now on the front of most of these scoops there's a little locking device which locks this. So when you're picking things up it just stops it swinging out of your hand. So that's now in the back of the car. If you then get your battery, pop it back in the thing. Now I'm loading it from this side, you would be loading it from that side because we're pretending the car's here. It doesn't matter. So battery goes back in, that stops it running around, it's not going to slide around in the car uh, and cause any problems. If you invest in a I say invest, just an old towel, um, something that's fairly soft. Um, <laughs> use your imagination that it could use an old blanket, anything. Um, but when you pop this between here, like so, if you just have a towel inside there, it stops it rubbing on the, on the thing and taking the paint off your nice new scooter. So as you can see, that's nice and compact now. That's actually already in the back of your car. The only thing you've got left, is your basket. You can pop that absolutely anywhere. It really doesn't matter. The only big thing is your seat. Some cars, if you just shape your handle like so, it might just pop over there like that. If it's too high or too wide, you might just locate it so that you put the L shape around the back of the scooter, like so. You know, a lot of this depends on what make of car you've got and how much room you've got. It doesn't matter, it could even go that way look. Yet again, it depends on how the seats and everything work in the back of your car. If it's still too much, a lot of people fold the back down, lift that up, and they just pop it upside down. Let me just fold that in there, like so. They just pop it up that way, upside down, and it goes on the back seat of the car. Right, so, to get it out, start with your seat. Yet again, you put it in a location where you're not going to walk backwards, fall over it. You take it under your towel, take your motor unit out. This is still in the back of the car, remember. Out comes your battery, location again. And then what you end up is, you end up with your, the back of your scooter, which you're lifting out of the car now. What you've got to do here is there's a little bar along the back of here, which I'll turn around there, and on the back of here there's two hoops. This isn't a brand new scooter by the way, hence the dirt, but like so, click it down. So these two hoops on that bar and you're just pulling it back so that it actually goes inside and then down. Do that a couple of times, I can assure you it's not a problem. Lift your arm up. Like so, 
pop your battery on, basket should I say, like so. Battery into here. And also just make sure that you've genuinely located because you want the connections to fit each other, otherwise when you switch on it won't work. With a seat, little tip, just dangle it so that you can see the spike going into the hole and then pull it off like so. While we're there, you know about being able to leave it in the ground. Now, if you ever get out of your car, put your scooter together and you switch it on, and it does that just won't work. Nine times out of ten what's happened is during this process of lifting it in and out of the car you've actually hit the lever at the back. This is a free wheel lever so that when it's forward like so it free wheels. When it's in the back position like so the scooter is locked. If it's locked and you switch it on it will work. It has to be locked because that's engaging the gear for the motion and everything. If it's in free wheel, it's like a so, this is just not it's just not gonna work. And it'll bleep at you. So switch it off, that's the key. Re-engage that into the brake position and then switch it on. Your lights come round and then off you go. So that's very quickly how you take a scooter apart. But please do be aware, we get more phone calls about this than anything. People have arrived in Scarborough, my scooter doesn't work. It's because this lever has been knocked forward and on a pride one it has to go back. On some of the other ones it might be the other way around. Uh, but, but don't worry about that, if you ever ring up we'll know which scooter you've got. Hope that helps. Um, if you uh, can see any fault with what uh, we've done with the, uh, the demo up there, don't hesitate to tell us, we know we'll, we'll, we'll do it again or whatever. But well, thanks yet again for your time, and we shall see you soon. Take care.